It started simple enough. An apple juice company who were using Tails to sell their apple juice. It then went to an entire trucking company in Norway who were using Sonic as their mascot. And I didn't think it could get any more brazen than that until we learnt about that other trucking company in Thailand who were not only named Sonic but also had a logo which looked a little Sonic-y and they also had their own specially made giant Sonic statue which sat in their lobby, appeared on their promotional material at their community events and even in several images which made it appear as if their employees were actually worshipping it as a god, along with their own terrifying mascot of Sonic who just randomly wandered around. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! Sonic, you've got it wrong! It's not the copyright law that you have to worry about! It's a trucking transportation and logistics industry! They're the real masterminds behind all this! So after I made that discovery, and after I published that video, I thought, it can't get more ridiculous than this. It would have to be something amazingly huge, or amazingly unique, or a really well-known company that you just wouldn't expect to attempt to take Sonic and promote their products. It'd have to be something very special to top that. Right? Well, we might have another potential candidate, which, when you think about the backgrounds of this, it's pretty equally as brazen as those two trucking companies. Sort of. Yes, it appears that there's another company out there which is using Sonic without Sega's permission. Sort of. So what's happened? Well, as you know, I collect Sonic pin badges, and I've got quite a large collection of them. Typically, I stick to the officially released and officially licensed badges. I don't usually collect unofficial or fan-made ones, unless they happen to be really, really good or really, really funny. No, it's not official, this one. But I'll keep telling you it is, until you believe me. Anyway, a few weeks ago I was browsing eBay and I spotted quite a decent looking pin badge that I'd never seen before, and I quickly realised that it wasn't an official Sonic pin, but something about it was really compelling. And here is that pin badge in the listing. Some of you might be thinking right now, hey, that's not too bad, aside from the fact he appears to be missing an eye, it's kind of okay. There's some far worse looking bootleg and unofficial pin badges out there, so what's the problem with this one? Wait a minute. Who's the company that made this pin? So unlike both Origin Aura and um, Sonic, this is a company you've probably heard of. In fact, you've probably actually done business with them, and I bet some of you that are watching this right now have actually bought something from this company or had to use their services in some way within the last 24 hours. And if you've not realized who this company is, there's a big clue right there on the badge itself. No, it's not the top picker line, although that is a small hint. The bigger clue is part of the Sonic design itself. Look at the smile on Sonic's face. Where have we seen that before? Amazon! Yes, that's one. As in Amazon Prime, One Day Delivery, Video Service with a Terrible UI, Jeff Bozels Makes Millions, and the Robot Drones. Yes, my friends, Amazon is using Sonic without Sega's permission. Sort of. So what exactly is happening here? Why have Amazon actually made this? What's the story behind this pin badge? Well, I did look into this and oh boy, I went down quite a bit of a rabbit hole and discovered a bit of a fun story to go along with this. If you don't know, and I didn't because I don't work for Amazon, it turns out that Amazon actually has its own internal mascot. And here he is. <laughs> Say hello to Pecky, Pecky the Picker. At least that's what I think his name is. So as you probably have guessed, Amazon employs a lot of people in their product warehouses, and most of these people are known as pickers, because they pick the products that we order off the warehouse shelves, and then they get mailed to us. So the mascot from Amazon is Pecky the Picker. Pecky is quite a big deal in Amazon. He appears on company documentation, attends promotional events such as this one where he appeared as a giant inflatable balloon, and there's even a range of Pecky the Picker mascot costumes ranging from the pretty good to the not quite as good to the downright scary which oddly resembles one of the ghosts from Pac-Man. And Amazon like to use Pecky to reward their employees. Instead of good pay and bonuses, they can be rewarded with things like this, mini figurines and statues. Yes, this is a real thing that Amazon actually makes to reward their employees. In fact, there's quite a few different designs out there, like this military-themed Pecky. 
Another aspect to Pecky are the Pecky Pins. It turns out that one way to try and encourage good performance from Amazon staff is with the use of the Pecky Pins. Pecky has a wide range of pin badges in which Pecky appears, typically wearing a high visibility jacket or some other kind of Amazon employee attire. But it turns out that Pecky likes to cosplay, and Pecky likes to do this a lot. We have Captain America Pecky, Ash and Pikachu Pecky, the Star Wars Pecky, and even Shrek. And this range is huge, varied, and has quite a die-hard cult collectible following behind it. So as a result, along with the fan-made unofficial Pecky pins, there's a lot of official ones which are awarded to staff, kind of of an employee of the month prize kind of deal. And you can usually tell which is the official pin because it'll have the name or the code number of the distribution center. Take this one for example, CMH4. This is the Amazon distribution center in the state of Ohio. The Sonic Pecky pin itself also has a code on it, DCX8, which is a delivery station located in Anaheim. Wait, a delivery station? As in, delivery drivers who use trucks? It's another trucking company that's using Sonic without Sega's permission! Sort of. What is it with the trucking companies taking Sonic? So this pin in particular was given as a prize to the top picker at the Anaheim Amazon Center. And it appears to be just this one-off pin. If I'm wrong and there's more out there, I haven't seen any pictures or any evidence to that. So the question now is, where Amazon actually allowed to do this? That's why I've been saying Amazon have been using Sonic without Sega's permission, sort of because I honestly don't know on this one. These pins were not made for sale to the general public. They're given out as very limited rewards to employees, and there's clearly some effort made to change the design. Not much effort, but it clearly is there. It's not like how Numskull Designs make the Sonic Tubbs figures and Funko make the Sonic Funko Pops to sell. They clearly need the license holder's permission. But on this one, I'm completely stumped. So if anybody out there is a legal expert and can clear up this gray area, I'd be very interested in finding out if Amazon are actually allowed to do this. So how much did the Sonic Pecky Pin sell for? Well, because official Pecky Pins from Amazon are quite collectible, yet from what I can tell, not official merchandise to whatever they're parodying, this pin sold for over $51. And I was involved in the bidding of this and I stopped bidding once it hit 30 because I don't really go too high for unofficial pin badges. I can't imagine how much it would have gone for if I'd have actually gone all in on this. So that's all I can find about this pin badge and what Amazon actually do with this Pecky Pin program. And all this is on the assumption that this is a genuine Amazon Pecky Pin badge, and from the looks of things, especially the seller themselves, it certainly looks like it. But I am curious, since Amazon is such a huge employer, somebody watching this video probably can shed some light on it regarding these Pecky Pins. Are they made with permission from the original license holders or not? I can't imagine that they are, but can anybody actually clear this one up? And does anybody actually have a Sonic Pecky Pin? Because I kind of want one. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. And no, it's not as bad as the other two trucking transportation companies. I mean, it's not like Amazon recently changed its app icon, so it looks like Sonic's face is staring back at me every time I open my phone and see... Oh, you've got to be fucking me. Hey guys, just wanted to give a huge thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click that like, subscribe, and the bell notification button. Just want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters, and they are Ali Dexy, Ben Malski, Dave Morley, Kenny Newbury, Mark Davies, Mike Stevenson, Mohammed Khan, Mr. Retro Geek, Nemand, Rusty Coolpix, Stalin Usher 2, That's Gamer, The Wax and Tybot Renux. If, like them, you'd like to support the channel more directly, please consider checking out my Patreon page. Links to do so are in the video description. Thank you.